Sonic Adventurers and guitarists everywhere, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Hey, welcome to my studio, and I hold here the latest offering, the newest offering from the fine folks at Source Audio. It's the Collider Delay and Reverb Pedal, essentially like having a great delay and reverb pedal, but all in one housing, of course. Uh, you heard it on all the guitar parts, of course, on that track at the beginning of the video, and I tried to show right from the beginning of the tune with the big, long, sustained F-sharp minor 11 chord. <laughs> has this beautiful quality on the tail of the reverbs and delays where it, it sustains out and there's no hint of graininess and it just sounds like luxurious. You can only do that with really high quality processing and as a matter of fact this has I think 56-bit processing, two 56-bit processors, one for the delay and one for the reverb. So it's incredible what you can do now in a uh, small pedal housing. This thing sounds more luxurious than the most rack effect from the old days. And yet it's really really dead simple to use. Um, there's a combination of actually deep editing capability and also really bonehead simple editing capability. And what do I mean by that? Well, all the important parameters to modify sounds are right on the front of the pedal on the knobs and the switches. But if you want to get into some deeper editing capability, you can always hook up the Neuro uh, editor, which is available for iOS, Android, as well as Mac and Windows. You can store eight presets right on the unit without ever hooking it up to an editor. But if you want to access 128 different memory locations via MIDI, and you can store them and move them around and all kinds of stuff via the Neuro desktop, or iOS editor, you can do that. Okay, there's tap tempo built in for the delay. So this is the on off switch for the delay and it also serves as tap tempo as well. It somehow sort of senses when you're just tapping it lightly for the tap tempo or stomping on it to turn the effect on and off. And then there's different subdivisions for the tap tempo right here. And you might be asking, how can you edit both the reverb and the delay on the front of the unit with one set of knobs? Well, there's a switch right here that lets you select delay, reverb, or lock, which is really cool. If you find a setting you really like, you can hit the lock switch there, and then the controls won't do anything on the front of the unit. Also, you got a uh, expression pedal input there in the back, as well as a USB jack. And it's full stereo in and out as well. So if you want to run a stereo unit before this, you can do that, or you can just run mono into it, split out to stereo, or just use it mono. I used it in a few different ways on that track at the beginning of the video. I was running my guitar right into the input and then coming stereo out of it into two instances of my PT100 uh, plug-in from UA and Sir and Brainworks. And that's how I did some of the cleaner parts in the song at the beginning of the video, especially like the first part that started the song and the clean melody at the beginning. I was doing that all by splitting stereo out of here, going right into my UA interface, and then I had two instances of the PT100 plug-in up for a nice stereo spread. And then like when I played the solo at the end, what I was doing was actually using my PT-15 amp running out of the speaker emulated output going into the mono input and then coming stereo out right into my recording interface. So in other words, some of the sounds are like running the pedal in front of amplifiers and then some of them were running post distortion after the amp. So what I want to do now is solo a bunch of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. I'll detail some of the sounds that I used and the settings that I used. It's far too much that this pedal does for me to touch on in this video, but I did get to a bunch of the different reverb and delay sounds. I used things like the shimmer reverb, the plate reverb, the e-dome, which sounds amazing. That's the reverb on the first guitar part, e-dome. Sounds incredible. Massive. I also used the oil can delay setting, the reverse delay setting, tape. I don't think I used analog, but I used digital for the solo. And you actually saw me adjust the mix as well as the tap setting on the fly while I was playing the solo. So for one part, I was getting uh, dotted eighth notes and then quarter notes for the rest of the solo. Okay, let's get on with it. Here's the soloed out sounds of the collider delay and reverb from Source Audio.
Thanks for watching my video on the Collider Delay and Reverb pedal from Source Audio. Super high quality, 56-bit processing, like having a great delay pedal and great reverb pedal all in one housing. You can use it mono, you can use it stereo, you can use it in front of an amp, use it in the effects loop. You can store eight presets right on the front of the unit or access up to 128 different presets if you hook it up to the editor. Great editor available for iOS as well as Android as well as Windows and Mac. You can check it out further at that website that you see there on your screen. I'm a big Source Audio fan. These guys make terrific sounding pedals and this one does not disappoint. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you dug the video. I really appreciate it. Hey, I'm Pete Thorne. I'll see you real soon. Take care. Hey.